Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Rachel aka Lillyworks and in this video I'm going to be talking about listing jewelry and uh, I know you guys have been um, having questions, getting hung up on listing jewelry, so I decided to do a list with me video. This video is going to include um, what my pictures look like, I'm going to be listing on eBay, and then I'm going to be cross-posting using my Vendu cross-posting um, program, and then I cross-post to Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark, and um, I'm going to be going on vacation with my family, so I brought my camera along with me, so this is going to be a totally like raw type of video for you guys where I'm going to be talking through why I'm listing it and what keywords I'm using and what I'm item specifics I am going to be um, using or not using some keywords to help you and if you guys are already like pros at this then maybe this will just be a work along with me type video um, and excuse the footage of myself because I recorded myself in the hotel room and it was blurry, but that's not what you're going to be paying attention to. Anyways, you guys are going to be paying attention to the phone portion where I am going to show you exactly how I am listing from my pictures directly onto eBay. So let's go ahead. Let's get listing. Um, you guys grab yourself a drink, grab yourself your jewelry, and uh, let's work together. If you're new to my channel welcome make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys like selling shoes and jewelry and accessories and you just want to learn how to make money from home when you are busy because <laughs> that's what I'm doing and I'm actually um, in a hotel meeting room right now and the kids are in the hotel room um, because I wanted to record this video with you guys and they let me in this like empty meeting room so here we are I have my laptop I have my phone you guys are going to work with me um, we are going to see um, how I do things here oh do you guys want to see my cute shoes someone was just asking about look how cute right these are by the brand Incas um, and if you have like bigger women's feet or just like that um, ethnic print style they have so many so many cute styles it's i-n-k-k-a-s i like trying out shoes for my business um, and discovering new trendy shoes so anyways that is off topic i'm going to record what i'm listing on my phone describe it in keywords and things like that for you then after i'm done um with all of that I'm going to use my Vendu to cross post. So I already <clears throat> took all my pictures beforehand right when I was packing up everything. My husband was already <clears throat> here in Green Lake, Wisconsin. And I had to pack up the children and the everything. It was just all the things. <clears throat> and now it's morning. I've just had some tea. I'm trying to find, it's my mom. Hello, mom. All right, so I took all these pictures before I left the house um, while it was a whole hot mess, drove up with the kids by myself, and now um, we spent two nights at the hotel, and I am currently, is it done uploading? Um, I just uploaded a gemstone jewelry unboxing video for you guys, <clears throat> and then I am up on my Pick Tap Go app. This is kind of what I use for my first picture just to like brighten it a little bit. You don't want to like discolor the jewelry itself. Um, so like you can test with the brightness and stuff, but I use a couple different filters I use so that you can see my shoes on the screen right there. We'll start with, that's a recording thing. We'll start with these hoops. So I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. I am going to go to my style and I like to use either the bright side 
the lights on and sometimes the, the contrast. Those are the, my top um, filters. I don't like to take everything out of my picture. I do like the shadow look. Some people like to use apps where it takes out all the background and just leaves the item and then you can just put a white background. I don't do that. Okay. So we are on my phone together. I'm just going to use a bright side just because it's giving me the most accurate color representation of these blue rose Montes. So I'm going to go ahead and go and then I save it. So that's my first picture. I don't mess with the rest of the pictures. Um, I like my light box situation good enough. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're on my home screen. I am going to click Google Lens that I use for everything. There's my Google Lens. And then I'm going to <clears throat> search these hoops. Okay, so it looks like there are some hoops that kind of look like it. I know they're not lapis lazuli. I know that they're just rhinestones. And there's no maker's mark or anything like that. Um, so I, when I'm going through <clears throat> my Google Lens search, I'm also looking for an eBay listing just so that I can click right into it and um, list from there, but I don't see any. So I'm gonna go to my eBay app. I'm gonna go to my eBay app and I'm going to type Rosemont. I don't remember. I don't know how it's spelled. Rosemonte? Rosemonte? Hoops. Let's see if that's what it is. That is not it. Okay, so it's Rosemonte double E. We'll try that. Okay. So um, it looks like the reason I know the term Rosemonte is because Miriam Has Haskell used a lot of Rosemonte um, where it's like sewn on jewels on her jewelry. <clears throat> so I know that term. And this is a more modern piece. I'm going to take off hoops. I'm just going to do earrings because there's only one result. <clears throat> and I'm hoping I can see something that's... Um, that kind of looks like what I'm selling it for, or I'm sorry, what I'm selling, and I just see a lot of Miriam Haskell. And now I'm just going to type in blue rhinestone hoops. And um, I'm still going to put the, the Rose Monty in the um, title. So cute rhinestone hoops with blue sequin stone. This person selling it for $5.39. I'm just going to put in my own. There's some more right here that are $11.99 free shipping. I'm just gonna do like $9.99 for mine. That I'm basing that price off of like A, experience, and B, um, I think that they're cool enough with the Rose Monty. I don't really have a lot of comps or like um, other listings to compare it to. So I'm just making my price. So I'm gonna upload that. You see pictures of the kids in the pool. I'm gonna go down and upload one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm uploading these onto my eBay. The, again, these are all um, pictures that I took last minute. So now I'm just gonna go through <clears throat> this title and fix it. So I will just do trendy and I like shimmer sparkle hoops with blue rhinestones. Blue. I'm going to take out with. With is not um, a searchable term. <clears throat> I'll say blue blue rose mont monte rhinestones, shimmer, sparkle, <clears throat> silver tone. Okay, so I have fixed my title, all capital letters with the rest, the rest of them are lowercase. Um, you wanna put your words um, that, that describe it the best at the beginning. I want, you wanna use up all your characters that you can, <clears throat> try filling it up. Don't waste that space. 
Um, if you run out of things, just <clears throat> you can say pierced, hook, clip on, whatever. The inches, just try to fill up as much of it as you can. All right, so there is that. <clears throat> Once I have um, my title in, that will just go right down to the description right here. It will just copy it right there. I'm gonna go into the item specifics, which I know is like the worst thing for most of us, right? So you definitely want to fill in this required section here at the top, <clears throat> hoop, unbranded earrings. Okay, so the person who had the list, their listing up that I'm just copying from, I wanna check over to make sure this stuff is correct. Um, most of the stuff you do not have to fill out, so don't even worry about it. They put their theme in there, I think that's fine. Color, blue. Metal is not silver, so I'm just gonna put in NA because it's probably an alloy and whatever. Material, rhinestone, main, main stone color, blue. I like to do ear, ear area for people, which is lobe. Item length, they can see in the picture. And then, <clears throat> it's not an antique, it's not vintage, not signed. Okay, that all looks fine to me. And then I go into my description. These were in excellent condition, so I already have preset things in my clipboard right here. You see in great condition, in excellent condition. And then this green one over here is for my offers that I sent out. So in excellent condition, very little signs of wear. Please see pictures for more details. And if there's flaws or tarnish, you wanna make sure you put in the picture of the tarnish and the flaw. If it's missing a rhinestone, point it out in the picture. Um, this this listing I could probably get done in like 30 seconds, honestly, um, but I'm just going through it with you guys. <clears throat> okay, pricing. I'm taking it off auction. We're going to do buy it now, $9.99. Not putting, I don't put on um, best offers if it's like under $24 because I don't wanna sell something for like $3 or get offers for like really, really low profit. So that's gonna be fine. We're gonna put in the first class because it's less than um, 16 ounces and that's the cheapest for the buyer. It's less than four ounces, so I put, always put four. And then I just am guessing, it, um, anything below 10 by 10 by 10, you can just put in those numbers. So I put 10 by four by four. And then there are my, my policies and then i usually don't do promoted listings here i don't turn it on until uh, it's been sitting for like a week so then i'm going to go ahead and list it and then we can go on to the next one and we're going to go a little bit faster and i'm going to talk through it with you guys i'm going to my through my pick my picks that i took and we're going to go on to this one this is one that I just unboxed with you guys, and I'm selling them together. I believe they're both like glass or agate stones. They are branded CFT. So I'm not gonna use Google Lens because I don't think that that um, stacking combo is in Google Lens. So I'm just gonna put CFT beaded bracelet. And these beaded bracelets might have just been sold at like a yoga studio or something like that. <clears throat> um, I'm looking for CFT. So there's sterling CFT. There is not a lot. So I'm just going to do yoga is going to be my search term. <laughs> Glass, bead, stretch, bracelet. <clears throat> okay, so like there's a lot of brand new stuff out there mine's not brand new I'm just looking for um, a listing that I can just easily copy so we're just gonna do that one <clears throat> okay so we're going to do sell one like this there's a fly in here I'm gonna do that and And there is the um, size of the um, bracelets when they are unstretched. So I have those two together. 
I am going to put yoga as like my first. <laughs> yoga agate beads stretch set of two. And I don't think that they're healing crystals, even though people might think that they are. Um, set of two colorful meditation, maybe. Um, there's like little like yoga type charms on there. So let's see, yoga, agate, beads, stretch, bracelet. Set of two colorful meditation um, stacking chakra okay i think that's how you spell chakra arm watcher <clears throat> okay so we're going into pre-owned we're going it that is multicolor glass stone main stone i'm not i don't think i think it's agate so we'll just do that item length i'm taking out because they can see it in the picture we're taking out tiger's eye round stretch um, handmade, I'm not sure if it's handmade, sizable. I believe that means if, if you, the seller, can size it for somebody else, just uncheck that. Um, you don't want to do any custom work for people. And then that's good. We're going to say <clears throat> these are also in excellent condition. And I'm going to put it up for $9.99. And change my... Um, ounces. Okay. We are just going to keep trucking. So if you guys are, um, if you guys are working, that's great. This is a great video to work along with. Here are some starfish earrings, and I'm using Google Lens because they might be Avon. So I see some popping up. Yep, they are Avon, they, and these were not marked, like, but I had a feeling that these were Avon because there was other um, C-type earrings in the lot that was also marked Avon, and these were not. So you can either see if they're marked Avon or the circle with the little dot in it, and it didn't have either of those. So, um, let's see if there's a Google listing for that that I can just scroll right to, click on. I don't see one. So, we're just going to search for <clears throat> Avon Gold Tone Starfish Earrings. Okay, there they are. So, someone is selling them for $10.99. Someone is selling them for $12.50. These are both free shipping, $6, for $8 with shipping. <clears throat> okay, so these are not selling for a lot, but some people on Poshmark don't know what they're selling for on eBay, and people on Mercari don't know what they're selling for on either of those platforms. But I do like the first listing because they know that it was vintage 1987. Um, it looks like it was new old stock on the card. <clears throat> And so I'm just gonna go to this pre-owned. They have a lot of um, things that I like. So they have vintage right at the beginning. They have um, all the words are capital and the rest are lowercase. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell one like this. And then a lot of times I, I can price the, I don't price aggressively. Let's just say that. Like I'm not going to underprice everybody else's Avon um, starfish um, studs because people bundle and they are just looking in your shop and they're not looking like to see what the best price is on the internet ever. So <clears throat> with bread and butter items like Avon, I can just do $7.99, $10.99 with shipping on it. <clears throat> and that's kind of how I do it. Forgot to bring water in here, and so I really wish I had water. I forgot to click them all. Let's see. There we go. 
All right, so you can see I like holding it up in this picture. Lately, I've been doing that a lot more. Um, just so people are getting how big they are, like in comparison to your hand, than just a ruler. I think it gives it a better um, accurate representation of how it looks. I also think that my pictures are a little bit better than some of the other pictures out there. So sometimes, like if they put gold told, gold tone, the first picture that I saw looked light gold slash silver, but you can see in my picture, they're actually like a nice rich 80s gold tone. So that might catch somebody's attention. Um, so they're not new old stock. They might be, honestly, they're in perfect condition. Surgical steel posts. I don't think that is a searchable term. So I'm going to just put studs beach, cruise, vacation. Well, I can't fix, I'm just going to pierce. What can I take out? I wanna finish vacation. Gold tone starfish. Okay, we'll do, we'll take off the S and then I'm gonna put on my N. <clears throat> okay, so again, if people are looking for like Avon beach studs, Maybe mine will pull up and somebody else's will not. So we have that gold department, um, lobe area, yes. And base metal is not gold, it's not. We're going to do signed, Ooh, it's not signed. I'm just gonna put in <clears throat> that it's vintage because vintage is desirable for a lot of people. So then I'm gonna go ahead into my description in excellent condition. I'm going to put these at $9.99. I don't wanna be the person that undercuts the market and then it forces the market down. Don't be that person. Um, I do not like that. I'm fine with letting things go for a nicer price because guess what? These are vintage, they are lovely, they're in excellent condition. And yeah, super cute. All right, so I'm gonna list those. So now we have three listed. So I'm gonna give myself, I don't know, 15-ish, 20-ish more minutes <clears throat> to list and then we're gonna pack up the kids. All right, we have these. These are also unmarked, but we're gonna see if they come up as anything on Google Lens. They're a basket weave. Basket weave half hoop. Hmm, gold rattan, I do like that keyword. Also, Google Lens <clears throat> does really help me with thinking of more key search terms. So I do like the gold rat rattan earrings. There's gold woven textured basket weave. There's, it's not bamboo. Yeah, so I don't see any that are exactly the same, but these are definitely vintage and I'm looking for an eBay listing I can just click into. Again, can't find it. eBay needs to get their stuff out there. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my Etsy sales come from people searching just on the web and like finding it on the web, not on Etsy, clicking on it, buying it. I don't feel like eBay promotes it out there as much as you could. You guys can see um, just by using Google Lens, there's not a lot of eBay listings out there to just click on. So I think that a lot of people buying off of eBay are already on eBay for the most part. <clears throat> so. We're going to do basket weave vintage half hoops. And I spelled weave wrong. There we go. Okay, so there's some Monet, which they are not. St. John. I like this. They are chunky. And... They're definitely not gold or anything, but there's the Givenchy, there's gold. Okay, I'm just gonna click on this one because um, I'm going to copy it. Oh, click the wrong thing.
These are so chic and 80s looking to me, so I can put those into my title as well. Oops. Vintage. Vintage, chic, 80s. Earrings, basket cage, huggy, half hoop. Uh, gold, gold tone. Earrings, basket, weave, caged. I like the word caged. Hmm. Huggy, half hoop, style. Fix the word chic. You can put the word runway if you think it looks like an 80s runway earring. I think that looks good to me. So. Now I'm going to put pre-owned brand. You can either put unbranded or you can just leave it at a state. So people put a state sometimes if they either find it at an estate or if it's vintage. I'm just gonna put it as unbranded style hoop. You can also do stud. Um, color is gold. No stones. Put it in the women. Ear area, lobe. I am not going to be even messing with anything else on there. Even if I was selling like higher quality rubies and stuff, I am not gonna put total carat, you know, total weight, the cut grade, all that stuff, no. Um, closure is a pushback or a butterfly <clears throat> fashion, which means it's not like sterling silver or fine silver or gold or anything like that. Not signed, vintage, yes, okay. These, again, were in excellent condition. So I'm gonna put that. <clears throat> and then I am going to put these, I like them, so I'm gonna put them at $12.99. <laughs> I like them. Um, I really think that they're gorgeous. So we'll do $12.99 and there we go, listing. I want to make sure that my video uploaded correctly here. Oh, okay. We have 21 views on it and three likes. Go ahead and smash that like button on this video if you like it. Um, and hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Okay, so next, 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 next. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have gotten to this one. This is the fetish necklace that I'm wearing right now. So cute, so because I like it, I might price it up so I can keep it longer and somebody won't buy it. So these have the hishi beads, um, the little beads that you see surrounding the carved birds. That is sediment stone shell, something like that. <clears throat> and a lot of a Native American Jewelry uses that. Okay, so we have that guy. Should I Google Lens it? See if there's anything else like it. Okay, there's that big one for 1750 There is, ooh, there's an eBay listing. What? Okay. But that one has sterling silver <clears throat> in it. And... Vera Thompson. So there's some expensive fetish necklaces out there, right? 250 certified authentic. This I cannot certify as authentic Navajo. I am not. I'm not. Um, I'm not a person to even certify that. That's not my place. So <clears throat> I am just going to. Type in carved bird fetish necklace. Okay, so we have one right there for $14.99 free shipping. Let's see the sold comps. I'm curious. Okay, so someone took a best offer on 16. That was small like mine. Someone sold it for 15. Someone sold one for 19. This one is 39. That sounds better, right? 39.99 free shipping. Um, 
Mine are purple birds though, so. Um, what? Matt Mitchell carved? Wow, those are pretty. That one sold for $2.25. <clears throat> uh -huh. Zuni, Zuni fetish bird. And this also has the he-she beads right there. See them? They're brown. And we have another one that's like 15. Okay, so I am... Okay, so some of these photos, as you guys can see, um, are not the best. So like this does not stand out. This one below, the blue one, does stand out. <clears throat> and they have their price at 35 99 Maybe I should click on that one and sell it. Similar like that one. So sell one like this. All right, so I just grabbed some water. My memory card got filled up. So um, I don't even know what I was saying, but we are going to put up this lavender purple carved mother of pearl fetish necklace and again if you didn't know that it was a fetish necklace once you google lens it they all come up as like fetish necklaces where they're the um small animals carved from mother of pearl and this one is dyed purple so let me just check what is the length that i have so it says it is 16 inches so i'm going to change that to 16 inches so vintage carved bird fetish I'm gonna say um, carved I don't think it's carved abalone vintage lavender purple carved bird mother pearl um, I could put native no I can put 16 inch choker Vintage lemon, blah, blah, blah. And then um, if I didn't have enough room, or I'm sorry, if I had more room um, and not enough words, <clears throat> I could put in the he, she beads. I can put in like Native American. I can put in um, like layering necklace because this would be super cute like with this as like the first layer and then maybe coral and turquoise. That would be super cute. Okay. Brand unknown, unbranded. Main stone. Okay, when you see all the capital letters like that, that means they type their own. Um, but I like to use what eBay provides because I think that it will show up better. Um, that is just my theory. Silver tone, I don't mind if that one. I'm just thinking of what people search. That is my thought. So purple, uh, mother of pearl. We're gonna change the necklace length to 16 inches. Department could be either. Um, men like to wear Native American jewelry. This is more feminine, obviously, but it is not signed. It does have a barrel clasp. So I think I might put that one in because some people do like that and it's a sign that it's vintage 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 okay the rest looks good to me and then we got that is good we have oh please provide description for your item they did not bring that down so i'm just gonna go ahead and select all copy i'm going to bring that all down to my description and then I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so this is, because it's more vintage and not like pristine, it just, I mean, it, it's still amazing, right? Not pristine. I'm just going to put in great condition, has minor signs of wear. Please see pictures for more details. Minor, right? Not, not new old stock, not perfect. So <clears throat> what I th am considering is the back barrel clasp there's just a tiny bit of looseness to the beads um that are on a string so honestly that's probably it that is the only thing that might be like not excellent about this but honestly i could have put excellent as well because it really is okay 
So I'm gonna put mine at $29.99 because I love it and if it doesn't sell, I'm gonna keep it because I'm wearing it right now. So because it's $29.99, I am going to allow offers on it and I'm going to still have it first class. If it was, um, you know, like $50 plus, I would probably send it priority because that is insured. But first class, I don't think I've had any lost packages or anything like that, so. All right, on to the next one. Let's see, we have these hoops. And I highly doubt that these hoops Eh, I don't like that. That looks too shiny and bright. So we're going to try that again. Edit my style. Bright side. That still looks a little bright. So I'm going to move my slider uh, right there. Okay. So these have like the pyramid studs and they are by the brand Chateau de Argente, which there are not a lot out there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put in Chateau two. Jen, how do you spell Chateau? <laughs> she is the French teacher in VA. She has a YouTube channel and she knows a lot about jewelry. <clears throat> okay, Chateau. Chateau d'Argente. Okay, so we have that. Earrings. Because I feel like hoops is too specific for this brand. Okay, so... Sterling round. Hmm, I like that this one was for 50. Oh, these look similar, but they are not as trendy. These are just some small hoops for $24.99. There are some $79.99. Oh, here's some pyramids. That must have been part of the collection. So those are just tiny dangles. $29.99. Let's filter to solds. So these hoops sold for $35 with $5 shipping. Oh, someone must have commented. Ha ha ha. Sherry. Sherry Brogdon commented. Okay, so they said vintage. I don't think that they are vintage. All right, we're going to sell one like that. I'm probably going to do around the same price as well. Okay, <clears throat> so adding all my pictures. This is what I do, honestly. When I have time, I go in my tiny little light box and take pictures, picture, 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 throw it in the, the, bath, or the basket to take downstairs. Um, after I put them in the little baggies and then like while you know we go we, the kids are on a play date and then we go on a play date or um, I have a, like they're doing choice work or they're sleeping this is when I do what I'm doing now <clears throat> okay so this one says right there it says Canada 925 it doesn't show up very well but so we're going to erase all that. Chateau J. Jarlara d'Argente. <laughs> um, 925 sterling silver. Pyramid stud. Um, hoop earrings designer and I'm going to take that out actually <clears throat> designer <clears throat> and what else not industrial who what kind of person wears pyramid stud earrings a glam rock person right glam rock okay I want to put that in how can I put that in Stud hoop earrings designer glam rock. Hmm. 
Okay. All right. Pre-owned. Unbranded. It is not unbranded. It is Chateau. Chateau. Dar... How do you spell it? Dargen... Dargent? Uh, I don't remember how to spell it. I'm gonna... <laughs> how do I spell it, guys? We'll see. Chateau... Jar... Dargent. Oh. Spelled it wrong. Chat... E-A-U... Dargent. Okay. Dargent. Silver, no stones, sterling silver, department, closure, mm, it's hinged, <clears throat> round, signed, yes it is signed, vintage, no, okay, that looks good, and these again are in excellent condition, and I will put them at $34.99 with an offer. So I was I asked if they had a room that I could do some work and I was like just so I can be away from the children and the noise and uh, the, the ladies who were doing the laundry and cleaning she was like she's like yeah let her in she's the late she's the mom with three kids <laughs> it's like, okay I guess we're well known here at the hotel they're actually not doing too bad they're 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 doing pretty good all right, so I have no idea what these peach stones are. No idea. So I am curious. They do not test as silver or gold on the outside. So I am going to see carved cameo pink Japanese. No. Polygon rose. So orange splash. What? I'm just trying to figure out <clears throat> what kind of stone that might be it's really pretty so coral they are coral color red calcite and quartz earrings hmm it's not spiny oyster that is expensive so <clears throat> coral would probably be paired with like sterling silver Okay, polymer clay, no. There's agate. Orange spiny oyster. It does kind of look like that, but it's probably not. There's a carnelian striped agate. Hmm, this one says, isn't that what it looks like? It says orange jade stone. Huh. All right, what if we do both of them? Universal thread, is that what that is? So these might be, so someone's selling it for 12 and someone's selling it for 13. So these might have been universal thread target earrings. I am not going to sell them <laughs> as target earrings, but let's see. Let's see what this one shows on the card. So it says semi-precious nickel free. So this information is giving us, or this card is giving us more information. Let's click on that. What does the back say? Not much. I mean pretty. Okay, so I think it's most likely um, like an agate slice. <clears throat> okay. So I will just sell similar right here and take off the universal thread because I think that might bring detract from the value of what I want to sell these for and I think that they look prettier 
off of the card. All right, so here we are on my Vendu. I am going to link my Vendu link down below in case anybody doesn't use a cross posting service and want to cross post to say Etsy or um, Poshmark, which is like my second favorite. Um, and then Mercari. <laughs> Mercari is my least favorite. Anyways, once you have your Vendu set up, I always start off my listings on eBay like you saw. I'm going to go ahead up here and press my new item, choose from eBay, and it's going to pull up all of my listings that I just listed. So I just finished up those last that were on my camera roll. You can see these Eliza Peretti by Tiffany dupes. Those are not marked, but they are in the style of this big chunky um, bamboo coral. And so these are the, all the ones that I just did right now. So we have eight. And then the ones that are in gray are already on eBay. So I'm gonna skip over those. And the ones that are, um, I'm just gonna import these. The ones that are showing up white are not yet imported. So um, I actually, when I was with you guys at the hotel, I, um, that was like maybe like two days ago. So I'm gonna have to go through another way of importing those since they're not popping up right away. I'm gonna go to my inventory and then right here is where I'm gonna import. So I can either choose to import here or here. Usually I use this one, but since I created those a couple days ago, I'm gonna to have to use this one. But you can see that they've all popped up really quickly here on my Vendu, and it shows that they're an active listing on eBay. Now these are, act this one is active on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark, and that's what I'm going to be doing with all of these. Let me just import the last, I don't know, 10? 10 maybe, maybe? Oh, no wonder it's taking so long. I have to click eBay. There we go. Now it's getting my latest eBay items. So I'm sitting here waiting for it and I forgot to click on eBay. So now it's going to try contacting eBay for my latest eBay items. There they are. So we have the Premier Designs, the Sodalite, that semi-precious stone, the Chateau, okay, so what does it say? I have nine, I thought I had 10. Did I sell one? I don't know. Okay, so we're importing all nine of those. And over here it's showing that it's importing them all. Okay, so there they are. all are in my inventory. And I'm gonna go through this with you guys. So. I'm gonna click on this. These are the Eliza Peretti dupes. You can see that it's already listed on eBay, and then I just move right down. I'm just gonna to move to Etsy. What I do is I have free shipping on Etsy, so I'm gonna build that into my price. Let's take a peek. So who made it? Another person. So I have that saved as my default because I don't make things anymore for Etsy. When was it made? So you can this you can get hung up on this, honestly. And unless it's like really like blatantly obvious of when it was made, I usually say um, before 2004 or vintage. If it's like swirl enamel or um, that's like blatantly 80s or maybe a long 
owl pendant um, that's blatantly 70s. Then I will put that in, but for the most part, I'll just click on before 2004, which is considered 20 years old plus. And so I will have that. And then I pick what kind of earring it is. This is a stud earring. It has a post on the back. So I'm going to click that, show my optional fields, and you, and there's this can be really overwhelming, right? I just choose to click a, a couple of these. I'm going to choose that my closure is a pushback. It goes on the ear lobe, and the recipient is a woman. And you can choose like a theme um, sometimes, or like if it's like a bohemian theme or ethnic theme, southwestern, I can choose that style. And then, so I'm not going to do anything else there. That seems to me to be uh, reasonable, a reasonable enough amount of details. And you're also not required to do that. So those are just more searchable um, things to choose from. Okay, here is the price. So I'm going to add $5 for first class shipping onto my price here. So I'm going to type in 23 and that's going to allow the buyer to have free shipping on their end and I'm cushioning myself with the cost of shipping. And then I all I do is list on Etsy. It says it's listing. I can just go on to the next one. Poshmark, I'll add on a couple dollars because Poshmark automatically sends off sends out offers for me. So I do put in a little bit um, extra for Poshmark. So here it is, it shows that it's unbranded already. It shows that it's earrings. My um, thing is automatically set to custom because I like to type in, I don't type in the size. What I do on my Poshmark is I will type in if it's a clip-on, if it's like a post, if it's a lever back, if it's a screw back, because then if the person's going through my closet and they like um, clip-on earrings in particular, they're going to see under size, they're going to see which ones are clip-ons. Or if they absolutely don't want to wear clip-ons or screw backs, they liked pierced, they're going to be able to see which ones are pierced or post type earrings and um, put those in their bundle right away. So this one is a post on the back, so all I do is type in post. Original price, we're gonna put zero. Most sellers put zero because it is not worth your time to look up the original price of your items, honestly. And I don't think buyers even really care. I'm gonna add on a couple dollars to my price. And my, oh, forgot to do my, my vendu. So I'm going to go ahead and list this to Poshmark. So with my vendu, um, what I forgot to mention is in my vendu form, um, you don't list anything through this form. This is just for your own notes that would, that came directly from the eBay listing that I had originally listed. All I do here is sometimes I might add in a color or I'll put in my own cost of goods. So in this case, it was around a dollar. I will put that I got it from a shop Goodwill lot down here. And then for my Vendu label is, is what I use for sorting my earrings in bins. So this is going to go in bin D, which I have not created yet. So, cause that one is my empty been um, that have no stud or post earrings in it yet. So that one is going into bin D. Got it in a shop good a lot. I'm going to save it. All right, let me go on to Mercari since I haven't done that yet. So this does not have a brand or I'm not sure. Going down to earrings. I already have it set preset to all these things where it's shipping from. And that the buyer pays, I'm going to be using the Mercari label. It already has brought over the package weight, the package dimensions from my eBay listing. Um, clicking first class already. And so the label I'll be able to directly print off of Mercari. I don't mess with the listing price 
because it's basically the same as eBay. Um, I have it listed as $17.99 on eBay, $18 on Mercari, and the buyer pays shipping on both of those. And I really don't send out offers on Mercari. It is all just too much work, honestly, for not a lot in return. So there I go, listing on Mercari. Okay, then I'm just going to pull that up for you guys. I'm going to show you my Mercari. So there we go. It's, there it is. It popped up right there, right away for you. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly with you guys for the next bit. So here's a cuff. Cost of goods was a dollar. I'm not putting it in um, in a bin yet. So it has its own drawer. Came in a shop Goodwill lot. It is not vintage, so I'm not putting it on Etsy. I'm gonna put it on Poshmark. I know that the um, the the inside um, circumference was seven inches, so I'm gonna put that in my custom area so it is seven inches zero and then I'm gonna put this as eighteen dollars list on Poshmark I'm going to put that there is no brand and then it is a bracelet already it's going first class leaving that the same and then there we go list on Mercari okay it. and I think that's what we're going to be showing um, for today I'm gonna to be doing the rest of these Pemberley wants to come see all right so that is what a list with me looks like um, usually I can get a lot done in a little amount of time like it probably takes me about an hour to two hours a day listing 10 plus items of jewelry and that includes taking pictures and cross posting. So, um, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. If you guys want me to do more videos like this of just working together, let's list together, let's talk about keywords together, uh, let me know. Um, and I might, I'll probably not do the Vendu portion, just the portion where I am. I want to talk about a keyword. You want to talk about a keyword? What's a good keyword? I don't know. Okay, so this is my three-year-old, <laughs> Pemberley, um, and she went antique shopping with Mama the other day, and then Mama had to call Daddy and say, come and get Pemberley. She helped for a few minutes, and now come get her, right? Um, so anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel and you want to learn more about jewelry and thrifting and reselling. And make sure you guys are out there thrifting so you guys can live generously too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Say bye. Bye.